What's up guys, welcome back to our camo deep dive series. Uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded one of these, but can you blame me for trying to avoid the launchers? Uh, anyways, last time we did the Sigma, today we're going to be doing the RPG, and uh, it's, it's not going to be fun, but we're going to try to find some find some methods to grind out these camo. So I went ahead and I made a class for the RPG. Uh, here's what I believe to be the best class for grinding camos. Uh, your primary is just to use while you don't have ammo for it, if you're not like doing anything, if you're trying to do it passively. But if you want to get camo was faster forcing yourself just to use the rpg or whatever launch you're working on is probably better uh, you'll get it done way quicker than just passively pulling it out every once in a while but just in case i start to you know fall off the deep end i have my tundra here but we're going to go with smoke grenades the reason why i have smoke grenades is because today i'm going to be doing something i've never done before and go into hardcore with the launchers and see how easy it is to get a kill and with those smoke grenades we're going to be hiding in them trying to get melee kills with them because apparently hitting somebody with the rpg will kill faster than shooting a rocket at him so i mean it, if you need kills that's how that's a way to do it also we have tomahawks on we might switch them out for a semtex uh just to try to counter flak jacket if we need to assault pack is here for if we need to refill our rockets we also have engineer it'll help us spot score streaks easier it'll help a lot for those score streak like challenges a uh, scavenger is there to refill our rockets if we do end up killing anyone and spycraft if you don't know it makes you it makes you immune to counter spy planes you know, jammers field mics all that good stuff so we might switch this out out with ninja or cold-blooded or maybe even gung-ho right now we're gonna be using spycraft i haven't used it very much but we're gonna test it out and we have danger close this will give us extra tacticals lethals and give us one more rocket to work with so let's take a look at the challenges for the rpg for spray we just need to get 50 kills so we gonna be trying to do at least one of each challenge for these camos today see if we can find a, a, a good way to do it for stripes we're gonna need to destroy equipment score streaks or vehicles classic is two kills without dying that's gonna be tough ground based score streaks also tough aerial score streaks is gonna be awful i remember just dreading having to do this but it is only i say only 25 but this thing is not accurate three score streaks or vehicles in a game 10 times and double kills people mainly grind on nuketown so we're gonna be trying it out on hardcore nuketown all right i feel like all i do in multiplayer anymore is just try to destroy my kd Oh, okay. Well, that's a ground streak right off the bat. We take those. I think the only ground streaks that are really somewhat common. Oh, that's a kill. So that's two right off the bat. So any ground streaks that are somewhat common are sentry guns and maybe RCXDs. I know for sure that they count, but they it's, I you know, you see one every 10 or so games. Uh-oh, I did a bad move walk through that fire. Okay, let's try to get these guys in the backyard here. Nope. So if you're looking at both the launchers, the Sigma is more for taking down score streaks and the RPG is more for killing or it's supposed to be. But as, as you know, oh, let's go. That's an aerial. So the easiest aerials to take down are the, the care package helicopters and just attack choppers. That's another kill. Let's try to get two without dying here. No. Oh. I wouldn't have stepped into that. That guy was just begging to die. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't do hardcore when I was doing my challenges. I just figured I'd be dying so often because it's so easy to die in hardcore that it just wouldn't even be worth it. Because I know Flak Jacket will still stop, will still like take multiple rockets to kill somebody even in hardcore. So I didn't want to bother like, you know, the mental exhaustion it would take to do it. But it seems like it's way easier. Right now we're two and six, which, you know, is not the greatest score line. We're using an RPG, that's fine. Also, I think right there, that was equipment down. There's Flak Jacket, or the, our old nemesis. Okay, so the RPG actually kind of works like it's supposed to in hardcore. I was surprised that we got an aerial kill streak that fast. I think, you know, overall, if you have it leveled up, like if you used it in zombies or something, that's probably the best way to level it up without tearing your hair out. But if you get it leveled up, you might be golden to just play Nuketown. I'm going to try to hit a spy plane or a counter spy plane, I guess. That's not happening. They're so ridiculously difficult to hit. We somehow got a spy plane from this. And they have a spy plane as well. Let's try this. Okay, a little under. Way under. Do we have to aim above? Nope. I think I've only successfully shot down one UAV in my whole life with RPG. Oh, that's fucked up. Okay, I guess I'm sniping until I die. Take that. All right. All right, well, that was a pretty successful first game. We went 7-11. Didn't do too bad. 
And we only destroyed two score streaks that game, I'm pretty sure. All right, for this next game, I'm gonna try something that might not always work. We're gonna try to rely on the kindness of other people in our lobbies. I'm just gonna go ahead and ask them if they can just run care packages and see if we can shoot as many down as we can. Hey, can you guys run care packages? I'm trying to get my RPG camos. All right, I got you. Thanks, bro. See, look at that. A fellow Joe helping us out. All you gotta do is ask sometimes. You're on my team, I'll be pissed. I'll try to stay off of it. We're about to be on the same team watch. Is we good? God damn it. Can you shoot down teammates care package? I don't think that counts, no. But you did see there that he was actually willing to do it if he was on the other team. So just try your luck. Okay, let's try to get three score streaks this game. Oh, I should have checked my camos last game. God damn it. We have not even gotten a kill yet. We just keep getting pre-fired. That's a kill. Okay, attack helicopter. This could be something we can take down. That's one hit. No. Stay still. Oh, we could we missed that care package too. No. I mean, we got progress for it or we got like the dead bird medal. But I don't think that counts for the challenge. I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Flak jacket, baby. That's what we like to see. Oh, flak jacket again. There we go. Let's get one more kill without dying here. Nope, not happening. Let's go. That's a flak jacket hit. Nothing doing. I can feel a sneeze coming on too. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, we're four and 20. We're four and 20, so go ahead and spark up some of that CBD. Fucking hell. People that want run flak jacket, why? Rockets won't kill you in one shot anyways. I guess it's different in hardcore, but like still. Let's go. Let's get one more without dying here. Oh shit. Of course he hopped the fence. I can't get anything done. I'm leaving this game. Okay. So first game, we got a lot done. Second game, literally nothing. Let's check the camos and cross off what we already have done. So we've gotten a kill. We can cross off spray. We've destroyed a score streak. We've destroyed equipment. Haven't gotten to vehicles since there is none yet. We still need to do classic. We've gotten one ground streak. We've gotten one aerial streak. We need to get three in a game and we need to kill two or more enemies rapidly. I'm gonna try one more game of Hardcore Nuketown, and then after that, we're gonna try out Dirty Bomb and Combined Arms, and maybe that'll help us get our score streaks and our vehicles done in a game. All right, unfortunately, we weren't in the pregame lobby to ask. Let's try to knock out some challenges this game. See, the thing about the RPG, it doesn't matter. You could be absolutely cracked with it, but it's still like a, a weapon of opportunity. You need to like be in the right place at the right time. Oh, Flak Jacket, you love to see it. Flak jacket, you love to see it. There we go. Only took three rockets. Oh, that's two kills without dying and maybe even a double kill. Let's see the medal. Let's go. We got the double kill done. Hey, I think hardcore nuketown just might be your best bet for anything that isn't score streak. I mean, I guess you could still get some score streaks done, but like kills? Hardcore's the shit. I really should have done this when I was grinding my camos. All right. If we can get a, a rocket into that garage... That's easy money. But since we did get the double kill, I'm only counting that for the double kill. We still need to get two kills without dying. Let's go. Easy kill. Black jacket. That's the one tough thing. You really need to time your peaks with your shot. It does take it a, a second to launch it. So flak jacket hit. That doesn't even do anything. If you die while you're launched, your rocket is in the air. It won't do anything. Let's try to get the spy plane. There's no way I'm getting it. That literally did nothing. Did he have spawn protection? I love how the same amount of damage from that rocket will kill me and not even hit marker another person. It is just ridiculous. Trophy systems should not. I mean, obviously, they're meant to be anti explosive. Oh, I just hacked it instead of blowing it up. That's cool. But like, try to make rockets a little easier, maybe. Let's go. That's two kills without dying. Yeah, I think we have all of our kill challenges done. I don't think kills are, you know, the, the issue here. We really just got to find a way to get aerials easier. Nice. I wish this game had the amped perk where I could reload my rockets faster. I think Gung Ho might give you a little reload boost, but I don't think it's too crazy. I want to try to get a melee kill with this. I want to see if it's a one-shot melee kill in hardcore. I might need ninja to make it actually viable. Okay. Also, people can just spray through smoke and accidentally kill us. 
Oh, okay. There we go. So hitting somebody with the RPG, the actual weapon part of it is a one-shot kill. Shooting them with an actual ballistic rocket, it tickles them. It takes multiple kill. It takes multiple rocket shots to do that. I don't know who decided to put this in the game and thought that was balanced. They are not good at their job. Like I can understand it might be annoying if the rocket launchers actually did enough damage. Like Modern Warfare, everyone was running. For a while, you would find people running RPG as a secondary and like search and everything because it was so easy to pre-fire like common angles and stuff and get easy kills with it. But then they just throw on EOD and it's a two shot instead. But with Flag Jacket, it's like a it's like a three shot kill and you only get three rockets to start. I'm in the middle of the house. How are you supposed to be safe from that? A pump strike so OP. How the fuck are you supposed to hit one of these? All right, so we got all of our kills done. Kills are kind of easy in hardcore Nuketown, but kills aren't usually the issue here. We got one aerial kill streak, and that is it. That's all we've gotten. You need 25 to get this thing done. So I'm gonna try to find a way to get more aerial kill streaks faster. And I think the best way to do it, what I did when I was doing the launchers, was to play Dirty Bomb. And I think you wanna try to get the map Ruka. And for this, I'm gonna go ahead and voice chat off. Because for whatever reason in Dirty Bomb, they let you hear every single team, every single team, every Every person, you hear everything. And to mute it, you have to hit tab and scroll through each team and mute everyone individually. There is no mute all button once you're out of the lobby. So I'm just turning voice chat completely off. So if you do do this method, I recommend the same. Also, what I think would be a good idea is go to your interface settings, turn subtitles on. And the reason I say this is because you want that little extra notification when a spy planes up, when there's a care package coming in, when a sentry guns down, it just helps you be more aware that there are streaks available for you to shoot down. So we have gotten a kill. Uh, we've destroyed equipment and a score streak. We've gotten two kills without dying. Ground based, we've gotten one. Uh, aerial, we've gotten one. We need to get our three score streaks in a game. So that's what we'll be aiming for. And we're we'll be trying to take down more aerials. Alpine is my least favorite Dirty Bomb map. So I'm just trying to join Dirty Bomb games and then leaving if I don't get Ruka. In the event you don't get Ruka and you're forced to join a game on Alpine, it's not the worst thing in the world life's not over because people will sometimes hop on the snowmobiles and those are easy ground vehicles to take down and that can help you get your score streaks done in a game but i'm just gonna be floating up here on my parachute till people just start doing things there's one see someone else is doing the same thing no one's driving that anymore also I'm pretty sure to get kills with the RPG, you can down them with whatever gun you have and then go up to them and melee them to death with it or shoot them or whatever you want while they're down. So if you're you're struggling to get kills, that's also another option. And when you're redeploying, you never want to spawn directly on your team. You're always going to want to just drop in. You're going to want to be flying through the air. Doesn't look like anyone's driving any vehicles here, which is very unfortunate. I'm going to try to hit the attack helicopter. That's not happening. It does get kind of rare uh, to see vehicles be driven around. So what I'm going to do is fucking end it. But once these dirty bombs start going off, people are going to be trying to leave the area is when, you know, it's often the most time somebody's going to hop on a vehicle and try to drive out of the area. So let's stay on the lookout for some snowmobiles. There's one. We re reload it fully. No. We really fucked that one up. Oh, we hit the attack elo. Oh, we hit it twice. Okay, I think I'm gonna go one more life in this, and then we're gonna try to see if we can get Ruka. If not, we're going into combined arms. Because if you can get a game of Ruka, taking down, like, score streaks and vehicles and such in games is really easy. But it's when you get games like this, where no one's really driving around, and, you know, vehicles are hard to get. Fuck me, dude. I'm actually just gonna quit out. But Dirty Bomb, if you're not getting the right map, it's not the move. You're not gonna get very many kills unless you're killing people, then going up and killing them while they're downed with it. So if you do do Dirty Bomb and you're not getting Ruka, it might not be worth your time unless you're really hurting for those vehicles. Yes, finally Ruka. Hopefully it's not a game in session. Okay, the reason you want Ruka is people, at least in my experience, tend to use vehicles more and you spawn at the height above UAV, so you can fly right at them and just point blank them with your RPG. I'm just gonna stay in the plane as long as possible. 
There we go. And now just gonna deploy shoot. I'm just gonna hang out with this guy. Hey, pal. You doing launchers too? I feel you. Oh, look, there's a car. You can take that out while we're waiting. Armor? It's an armored vehicle? All right, I guess I'll just kill people while I'm waiting. Okay, so this is what you want to do. You're going to down somebody. You're going to come up and you're going to beat the shit out of them. Or, or you're going to get sniped while you're doing it. But this is a helicopter that can be driven uh, by players. So this does count as an aerial. If we can hit it, it's kind of difficult to hit things. But let's try it. Oh, he jumped out. Fucking pussy. Okay, as I was saying earlier, down somebody, come up to him. Beat their ass. That's a kill with that. Nothing in the sky. Nothing on the ground either. But there is a, a sentry turret right here. This is a ground score streak and it's gone. If we can aim. So I'm going to land up here. No, please, for fuck's sake. That's what we need. I don't even care if they kill me. Sentry guns are dropped often from these boxes. So if you need ground streaks, that also works. I can't remember how many we have so far. I think that's just one. Counter spy plane, where? I don't see it. A lot of vehicles over here though. Let's try to get one. Come on. Get back in the car. There, probably doesn't count, but we take it. Okay, this is actually awful. We probably would have gotten at least two more plane nuke down. Spy plane, come on, spawn, spawn. Where is it? There it is. No! And Dirty Bomb, you're going to be competing against other people also doing this. So if you get into the perfect lobby where there's nothing but spy planes and nobody else is doing it, you're chilling. But it definitely comes down to it's just opportunity. I'm going to try one more time. There's nothing in the air here. I'm leaving. Yeah, I don't see jack shit. I guess we can try to take out our vehicles, get our three in a game, but... Get back on that. Every time I see somebody, they hop right out the vehicle. It's fucked up. But what I've heard works. I've never tried it myself to confirm it or anything. But I'm pretty sure if you use the Sigma and the RPG in the same class and you shoot down aerial score streaks with the Sigma, it'll count towards the RPG. And, you know, obviously taking out anything in the air is so much easier if you're using the Sigma. So if that works, that's a lifesaver. So please, uh, if you guys still have launcher challenges to do, test that out and then let me know in the comments if it works. Because I'd love to test it, but I have no challenges left to do to, to confirm if it works. But I know it worked for the melee weapons when I was doing those. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this game. Dirty Bomb is not it. Unless you get the perfect game where there's nothing but spy planes, Dirty Bomb is just more hassle than, than, you know, than you need. All right, so Dirty Bomb, it's good if you have a four leaf clover that is sewn to the inside of your asshole and you're getting nothing but spy planes and no one else in the game is trying to do the same thing as you. I'm gonna try one more thing for three vehicles in a game and that's gonna be combined arms. And for this, you're gonna wanna try to get Armada. No crossroads, show me Armada. I don't want crossroads, get me out. Crossroads great if you need score streaks for the Sigma. The RPG, not as much. So we are out of here. Miami is not what you want either. There's not even a vehicle on this map. You know, the motto for COD, if you're searching for a specific game or lobby or trying to do a specific challenge, it's not gonna happen. It somehow knows exactly what you're trying to do and then gives you the opposite. Finally, Armada. Now this is what you want. I'm joining in progress, so that really kind of fucking sucks. But early game, people are all using boats trying to rush to the first objective. And then if you tie the game and go to overtime, you'll also see a lot more boats. But I think we're kind of screwed here. There is a boat right here though. And FYI, you can shoot your rocket from underwater. And that's gone. One more? You're fucking kidding me. Dude, stole that shit. No fucking way. I will drown here. No way. I do all the ground, the legwork for it and it still doesn't work. Okay, sometimes you're gonna get games like this where you're constantly, you know, fighting. You're scratching tooth and nail trying to get these vehicle kills and then someone's just gonna take it on the last shot. But eventually you will get those games where you're taking out three in a game, four in a game. One more. Fuck you. That's so stupid. I really need to take out this this boat. Okay, someone's just gonna fucking blow this shit up before I can get it. There we go. We actually got one. So let's try to get all three in this game. 
We are getting lucky that people are actually driving boats around pretty frequently here. But we're getting extremely unlucky trying to blow them up. He's going way around the boat. One more. No one's stealing this one from us. Let's go. Okay. This game is about to end though, which is very unfortunate that we're only going to get two in this game. And very unfortunate that that zip line was just greased up for us to fall. Oh, come on. No, we can't miss these. No, come back. Literally have no ammo left. That's unfortunate. All right. We only got two there, but we did join in progress. So we got two joining the game probably 75% of the way in. So if you need three kills in a game, if you get lucky and get on a game on Armada, you can probably knock it out. This is just awful, dude. This is not good. To finish this off, we're going to try to take out a few more aerial score streaks. At least one more minimum. And we're just going to go on core nuketown. We've already gotten our kills. All we need is aerial score streaks now. Let me go back into my settings. Since we're not playing Dirty Gabon anymore, we can turn voice chat on. Hey, can you guys run care packages? I'm trying to get my RPG challenges done. Oh, uh, sure. Thanks, guys. Anything for the moment. See, that's two times I've asked and two times people have said okay. So shout out Obama's fat sack if that was the guy that said okay. Okay, for this, I'm going to be wanting to run some Semtexes. There's a care package. Here it comes. Please don't kill me. No! Oh, we were flashed during that. That's awful. I do respect him calling it in. He called it in way in the open, too. That's the one, two. All right, there's some spy planes up. Let's try to take them down. I have no idea how anyone has taken any of these down, ever. I don't get it. No, 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 no. Kill myself, hurry. Spawn. Let's go. They even still got their care package. So it's a win-win for both sides. So had I gotten the first one, that would have been two in one game already. That's a ground streak if we can take it out. Let's go. So that's two score streaks in one game of just this game of Nuketown. What is this? This is a team deathmatch as well. Here's the last care package we need. I'm going to camp right here. Wait for it to stop. Let's go. That's three in one game, two aerials in one game easy care packages are the way to go literally just ask people survive the rpg and a semtex flak jacket needs to be fucking nerfed these attack choppers are also pretty nice to take down actually i think that might be a chopper gunner here's another care package though no Oh, we missed it. That worked decently well. We we got two, maybe three. I don't remember. But there was at least four opportunities to shoot down a care package in one team deathmatch game. Probably the fastest mode that goes by, especially on Nuketown. So just asking people to run care packages might be the best strat to get aerials done. I want to play one more game because we've, we've completed all of our challenges at least one time. But I want to make sure that this method works. Hey, can you guys run care packages? I'm trying to get my RPG challenges done. Nothing from this crowd. Okay. Maybe they still heard what I was saying, just didn't respond, and they'll throw some up. RCXD, that's a ground streak. Gone. Okay, I'm going to try to shoot a spy plane again. It's like borderline impossible. I know somebody's shown a thing where, like, you make a triangle or whatever. Nope. That one was a little closer, but... It's not happening. I don't have the mental capacity to hit those. No one's called it a care package, so I don't think it's happening this game. No, I missed it. Oh, I realized it too late. <sighs> right at me. All right, so that last game, nobody really ran care packages. We saw one and we missed our opportunity. That's on me. Care packages are definitely what you want to be looking for. You take out those helicopters. That's easy aerial streaks. If you need kills... Hardcore Nuketown is the way to go. Uh, if you're struggling with three score streaks in a game, combined arms is decent for it. You have to get lucky. A lot of the launcher challenges are just being in the right place at the right time. 
taking advantage of your opportunities. Uh, asking people to run care packages has worked. Two out of the three times we tried it. If you really need aerials, just ask people. Ask them to run care packages. So that one game, we got three of them in a game. That would definitely help with aerials. You only need 25. So that's a decent chunk of them down in just one game of team deathmatch. Uh, double kills. If you're going for kills in core, Semtex to hit Flak Jacket down, then shoot the rocket at him. Should get a kill. If you just need kills, I don't think it works for double kills, but meleeing them with the RPG in hardcore is a one-shot kill, even if they have Flak Jacket. Uh, most kills in hardcore are a one-shot kill unless they have Flak Jacket. So kills, hardcore, you need aerials, just ask. That's that's basically what I've learned from using the RPG for the last like hour and a half. So uh, that's definitely, yeah, I, need, I definitely need a break after this. If you like this video and you want to see more, leave a like on it. Uh, if you didn't, you don't dislike if you're new here subscribe we're on the road to 100k also link to my merch shop will be in the description below and uh, i'll see you guys next time